Hello there. I'm going to talk today about how to cope with the unexpected. And I'd like to start with a couple of questions for you to consider. So imagine that um, you've just won the lottery. You've won four million pounds. Are you lucky or are you unlucky? And now imagine that you're in a bank and um, suddenly a robber bursts in and um, decides to take everybody hostage and starts shooting his gun and you get hit in the shoulder. Are you lucky or are you unlucky? I just want you to um, have a think about those two questions and I'll explain why I'm going to, um, to talk about that. Um, so last week it was very snowy, wasn't it, um, down here in South Essex and a lot of us had to change our plans and that really got me thinking about how do we approach our lives and how do we um, plan what's going to happen to us and often what we do is we have a sense of right you know next week I'm going to do this and um, last week what was happening with me was on the Saturday I was supposed to be um, teaching a, uh, a course and I'd spent um, quite a lot of time preparing for the course and I thought I was all ready to go but as the week went on I realised that it was likely I was going to have to cancel. And it really got me thinking about outcomes and how we tend to plan outcomes. And often what happens is the outcome is nothing um, like what we expected. And what happened to me was that my Saturday, which was supposed to be teaching, um, wasn't about teaching at all. It was about something completely different. Um, and I've had to uh, postpone my course. Was that lucky or unlucky? I'll come back to that. So, in answer to the question about if you um, won the National Lottery and you won £4 million, would you consider yourself lucky or unlucky? It depends on how you see yourself. And so, um, I, yesterday I went to hear Richard Wiseman, who's done a lot of research into the luck factor. And he actually interviewed a National Lottery winner who counted themselves as unlucky. And he um, he thought, how could somebody who's won four million pounds on the national lottery think that they were unlucky? And the answer was was that the uh, the unlucky person said, you know, I was really unlucky because the same week that I won four million pounds, someone else had the same numbers as me, and so it would have been eight million pounds, but I had to share the prize, so I was unlucky. And then in terms of the uh, the person who was shot in the shoulder in the bank robbery, did they think they were lucky or unlucky? In actual fact, um, I mean, this, is, this is actually made up, but the response could be, you know what, I'm really lucky because I could have been shot in the head. It could have been so much worse. And so you can see how we respond to events. It actually depends on our perception of those events. Do we um, think that we're lucky or unlucky? And when I considered this and I think about my course that I had to postpone last week and the fact that I had to cancel all my counselling appointments last week, which meant that I didn't earn any money. Um, actually, you know, I thought it was a really good week because I was able to relax, I was able to take stock, I had plenty of time to prepare for the course on the Saturday. And even though it's been cancelled, in, in a sense that's quite lucky because some people can't meet the new date, so they say, we'll wait until you do it the next time and I'll join it then. So I've already got some customers for the next time I run it. And then also, um, this, that's freed up spaces for more people to attend who couldn't attend the one on Saturday. So in some ways, it was quite lucky that it was postponed. And so it's all a question of our perceptions. Um, do say hello if, if you're there. Um, so how we view our experience is how we actually think whether or not um, we're lucky. And how do we um, change our minds? If we're somebody who normally you know, sees the glass as half empty, who thinks, oh, that was really unlucky, is it possible to have a different mindset? And this is what Richard Wiseman was talking about. And he said there's a couple of things that can really help us to, um, to feel more lucky. So one of the uh, things that I've mentioned this before, he called it a luck journal, I call it a gratitude journal. But sit down, write down every day the ways in which um, you've been lucky today or the ways in which you feel grateful for what's happened today. And start, it is the old thing about counting your blessings. Keep a note of it and uh, do that every day and see what happens. 
And the other thing he said was about being flexible. And I, I this really spoke to me because um, sometimes it, it's almost easier, isn't it, to be in a routine, to always walk on the... Um, the same side of the road, to always take the same route to work, um, to always do the same things at the same time every week, because obviously that means it's a habit and we don't have to think about it. But in other ways, um, that makes us quite inflexible. And something that helps lucky people is their flexibility, is their um, willingness to take a chance, their willingness to, to do something different. And it's even, um, he got us to do things like we were folding our arms, and uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but you often fold your arms in the same way and then trying to, I'm having to think about it, to fold your arms in the other way is actually really difficult because we're so, our mind is so set in, in the way we think, we're so rigid. Um, and it's trying to just bring in a little bit more um, flexibility um, into our lives so that uh, we can be more open to opportunities. So go somewhere different on holiday. Um, take a walk in a different direction, um, trying something new that you haven't done before. This all helps you to feel like you're a luckier person and it's going to help you respond to things with, um, you know, as an opportunity rather than as something really bad that's happened. And that helps you to be less panicky. So this is what my blog's going to be about this week and you can find it at the goodenoughmum.com forward slash blog. Please do um, comment if you found this uh, video helpful. Please please do put something in the comments because that helps me to know if I'm hitting the right mark. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk to you about, um, do feel free to uh, give me ideas for other subjects to talk about and I can do some research into them. And I'd be very happy to hear from you. So take care now. Bye.